Welcome back to Aeroponics DIY. In this episode, we will talk about the size of the droplets. To run a true high pressure aeroponic system, the roots of the plants must be subjected to a fine mist that contains droplet size in the average of 50 microns. So what is 50 microns? Well, look at it this way. The hair shaft of most human hair is around 100 microns. That means that two droplet size can fit in um, a diameter of one hair. So that's, we're talking about very, very fine drops. Now, just to sit things straight, all the facts are not known why, in particular, 50 microns is the best droplet size for roots. But NASA has done various studies to show that 50 microns is the ideal droplet size for your misting of your plants. So let's talk about what we do know. The first thing, let's um, talk about um, suspension, droplet suspension. So when we have rain clouds or when we have clouds up in the sky, basically those are water drops that are suspended. So what size do you need for the drops to, to maintain its suspension in air? Well, the rough number based upon humidity and temperature that changes that value is that anything less than 100 microns can be suspended in air. So when it comes to our root chamber, when we miss our roots, we want the mist to be suspended so that it can be exposed to the surface of our roots. Otherwise, if we miss and this falls back down to the bottom of our chamber, it wouldn't have served any useful purpose. So we need to have at least a droplet size that's less than 100 microns, preferably 50 microns, because 50 microns is a droplet size that will um, allow it to be suspended in air. So that is one reason why we want our droplet size to be 50 microns. It's because of its suspension capability in air. Now, this next reason is very, very interesting to me. Um, if you research, you'll find out that the diameter of root hair is 17 microns. That means that, that so another interesting inf information about the droplet size is that we don't want the droplet size to be too much larger than the diameter of a root hair. We want the droplet size to be not much more than three times the diameter of root hair. And that is what? Three times 17? 51. Is that coincidental that it's close to our 50 microns in size for our droplet size? No, because when we expose root hair to a droplet size of 50 micron, it's able to absorb or the 50 micron nutrient droplet is able to coat the surface of the root hairs. If that droplet size was too large, it wouldn't. It would go around the root hairs. If the droplet size is too small, it's the same thing. It would hit the root hairs and bounce off. So this is another reason why we use 50 microns. Talking about droplet size, did you know there's a thing called dry fog? Dry fog contains mostly droplet sizes of 10 microns and smaller. The surface tension is so strong in a droplet size that small that instead of hitting a surface and depositing its moisture, it bounces off like a ping pong ball. And so it never re releases its nutrients or moisture. So this is another reason why we don't really want to use a device that will miss our roots less than 10 microns. 
because basically their roots would be starving of nutrients. Gravity also plays a role in our droplet size, believe it or not. So we talked about suspension. We want the droplets to have suspension in the air so that they're able to mingle with the root hairs. Well, we would like it to be at least eight seconds or so. Well, for gravity on Earth, which is 1G, basically, that will allow a droplet of 50 microns to be suspended in the air for eight seconds or more. And this is another reason why we want a micron size of 50. Let's say that we're on the moon, which the gravity is much lower. It's possible there we probably could use a larger droplet size and still be able to have efficient suspension. But remember, we want our droplet size to be no more than three times the diameter of a root hair. So we're back to 50 microns. Another thing that we're concerned when it comes to droplet size is the velocity of the droplets. If we want our nutrients to reach the, a dense root mass, we need to have it enough velocity in the droplets so that it can reach the interior of a thick root mass. And this is another reason why we choose 50 microns, because if we choose something smaller, we will get a faster velocity at the initial exit of our nozzles, but then it will slow down so dramatically that, it, that the nutrient eventually will not reach the dense center of a root mass and then causing rot to occur. Now, this is another topic which is kind of interesting is that we mentioned about that the average diameter of most root hairs is around 17 microns. Well, we call that size of root hair as very fine. There's also a thing called fishbone root hairs. When a, when a nozzle is specified to generate 50 microns, it is actually the droplet mean size, meaning that if you took all the droplets and averaging in, it will be around 50 microns. That means that some of the droplets are smaller than 50 microns and some of the droplets are larger than 50 microns. That distribution would give us a nice balance of some fishbone root development and some fine hair root development, therefore encouraging rapid growth and health. So, as you can see, 50 microns is very important for a truly high pressure aeroponic system. So please subscribe right here now on Aeroponics DOI 